Hey, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you about access, as that is a core concept you need to understand in order to work properly with Flexbox. Because a Flexbox container always has a direction. And by default, this direction is horizontal, as that's how it lays out its items, starting here on the left-hand side and going towards the right-hand side. What we then say is that our main axis goes from left to right along the row. And we also have a cross axis, which goes from top to bottom. Now, the reason you need to understand this is that we're using different CSS properties in order to position our content along the main axis, which goes horizontally in this case, and the cross axis, which goes vertically in this case. However, that's not always the case, as we can also flip the direction of the Flexbox container. Let's do that. We'll head over to the container and give it a flex direction. By default, this one is set to row. So if we write row, nothing will happen. However, if we change this to column, now as you can see, that results in stacking the items from top to bottom, going downwards instead of going from left to right. And now the main axis actually goes from top to bottom, and the cross axis goes from left to right. Now we're going to flip this back to row, as I've found that I've used the default direction much more often than the column direction when building websites. So I want to focus on that in this course, as I want it to be as practical as possible. But I want you to be aware that the main axis is horizontal because the flex direction is set to row. However, it can be vertical as well. Okay, in the next lecture, I'm going to teach you how to position items along the main axis. So stay tuned and I'll see you there.